we met up outside the, the Gainsborough, right? Um, and we dumped the, the guilt all, and there was a, a woman there, it must be one of Sable's people, right? She gave us a, a bundle, right? And then took us up the stairs, and we went down the, the, the solicitors. Panic like Dermot, what do you call your man? Michael Mansfield, right? And right enough, it, it took us through it, right? And specifically on the, the case against Wooly, no being a freaking gun man and all the rest of it, you know? Uh, and it's just innocent, and he's saying it that way, you turn with her own leaf. And the thing is, I had the rest of my family downstairs. I couldn't tell him. Lockdown. I remember the statement by by Cameron and the applause uh, from the pe from those people of Derry who were in the Guildhall. I remember later having a conversation with Jim Collins, who was I think a bit kind of hope he won't mind me saying this. I'm sure he won't. He was a bit miffed at people applauding a British Prime Minister. He didn't think it was the right thing to do, and and. Um, you know, one can have a, a, a discussion about that. My own personal view was that it was it was it was spontaneous. I don't think there were many Cameron supporters in the in, in the Guildhall, but I think people just felt so relieved that a British Prime Minister was saying what he what he had to say. Um, that in that sense, I think the applause was was um, not particularly premeditated, but was was spontaneous, and I think that was good. Down the stairs, and the first one I met was our kid. Right? And he actually looked after my father. Right? Hey, you want to see her? She broke down. She just broke down. And all I can say was, look, what I tell you? According to the evidence up there, he's innocent. But we have to wait. The, we get an announcement from, from Westminster. That was terrific. And then, dear, Cameron, you know, apologizing. Hey? Now, as part of my family, we weren't interested in that at all. But that was me finished. Right, that, that was me, to, I got the apology. They're innocent. I'm not interested in court cases or anything like that. Because I seen them boys giving the evidence over in England. Hey, heavy. We're all alcoholics and, you know what I mean? Summer frames, nah. Not interested in anything else. Just declaration of innocence. That was me finished. Many years ago, I'd come across this book about um, a trip to India, which had been made by a guy called Alec Thompson. Now, of course, Alec Thompson, some years later, was now Channel 4, and he was here as, as, as indeed was Jon Snow. So one of the, one of the, the kind of uh, sillier memories of the day was me running home to get my copy of the book, and getting him coming down to get him to autograph it. And he, he said he was honoured to sign it. I'm not certain that he was, but it was a nice touch anyway. My mother was lying in the hospital with a heart attack, right? And then my father, he was shot. Number two, he was able to go to a funeral, right? And more still, my wife had to take charge, because we're all we. Right, now I, I was the, the eldest, right, and I, I think I was 22, so, right, but my wife had to organise the funeral though, she was a Protestant.